So here we go. The first trip of the year. We're testing out some new gear. We're leaving some old gear. Uh, going to one of my favorite places all the way on there. Maybe five miles. Not even. Three. Uh, beautiful weather. Sun is shining. Let me see if I remember how to do this. So we're on a trail, going good, testing out this vintage Hagalabs Tourist, it's called. Lightweight, no bells and whistles, no cinches across the chest, no waist belt, nothing, just lightweight. Managed to keep my weight down to 9 kilos today, including beer and food, not including water. Got about... 20 minutes. Beautiful, I haven't seen anybody yet. Such a nice day, it was windy on the way out here, but now it's all nice and calm in the woods. Fuck. So this is what it looks like when wild pigs have been going through the forest, in here chewing on stuff. So yeah, there's, and it's real fresh. Oh, well, it must have been less than a week ago. So I bet you there's some wild pigs out here tonight. So we're at the site. First site. Still ice on the day. It's the cliff. This is the... Uh, this is where I made, this is the picture I used to make my film that I have under my hand, right from here. And this is what the site looks like, a couple people here. Just gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go up on top of that mountain up there. Nice and calm. Here's some Americans, I have to go talk to them. So yeah. This is from this beach looking across this lake at that uh, cliffside. Just like that. From more from that side of the beach, but you get the picture. So here's the first piece of new gear. New windscreen. Pop it in. It's nine. 90 grams, so it wasn't super lightweight, but I'm happy with it. You can eat one when you're out here. The other one was toast, so time to mix the coffee. So, uh, this is the approach when you're coming with the canoe from the north. And this is the little bay where Hemley Gastelin, we call it. The secret spot. Wasn't so damn secret today. Ten people there. So, we're moving up to eat lunch at a site up the lake a bit. So, we walked up a bit to the other place. No tourists. There was ten tourists over the other place. And they were all speaking English. I don't understand. I didn't go talk to them. But I found two guys that were Swedish with hats that were as nice as mine, if not nicer. And one of them was sleeping in a hammock, but he didn't have it up yet, so he couldn't take pictures. Right, I'll take pictures of my hammock later. But now it's time for lunch. So we're making a classicer. Our old time favorite. Where Pasta in there, and then I'm gonna put some tuna fish and some mayonnaise in there, and some Taco Bell hot sauce. See if how it works. So that's a cozy. Oh my god! So if my wool we'll sit there and threw it around there, keep my pasta really hot, so I keep cooking without having to put any more fuel into it. Give it a couple minutes, we're ready to go. We fix the tuna. So we're still waiting for the pasta. It's in the cozy, but while I'm doing that, I had two great ideas I had to share with myself here. I got two beers out there in the water, and the water's zero degrees. And when I leave here, I'm gonna go up the mountain and drink them in like three hours. So I'm gonna roll them bad boys up in that cozy, my wool cozy. So they're gonna be ice cold when I drink up tonight with the hot dogs. Whoa, buddy. And then the other idea, very important tip when we're cooking pasta that you save the water that you cooked up it's full of 
energy and it's really warm and it's perfect for doing the dishes because it's not bad out but it ain't fun out and that water out there is zero degrees you ain't gonna get no mayonnaise out of your dish if you've got zero degree water you're doing it with all right a couple more minutes and we're ready to go and it's so pretty out there yeah there we go oh it's so nice except that's frozen so here you go i'm gonna stir that bad boy up and uh, throw some pasta in there mayonnaise ketchup hot sauce tuna fish Let's see what happens there she is masterpiece the best part is if i can't eat all of it i can just put it in a plastic bag and take it with me and eat it in a little while we'll be finished so this is the lake we paddle down that's the north way that's the that's the north we come from that direction usually when we're going through then we pull up on this piece of land here and you pull your canoe there's another lake on that side instead of going through this you can't go really through this far you can't get up to the bridge Straight across. It's tough there. And we got a bit to go. I'm gonna follow this ridge all the way down looking at that frozen lake. Another hour maybe. The uh, hardest straight up is done at least. Here's the money shot. This is the reason why I came out of here. All the way up this mountain. This view. Almost at the site. We're a little bit farther down. Well this is a good shot. Okay. Took off the mosquito net, left it in there. She's uh, up, fluffed, down on the outside, down on the inside. Just waiting for me to jump in there, we'll be good to go. I'm gonna put the tarp up and then we're gonna start maybe making a fire, I don't know yet, a little early. So there she is, ready to go, I haven't tested it yet. I'm about to jump in and test it. But she's ready to go. Here's my camp, and then where the fire is and there's my view. Beautiful. There we go. Fire's going. Toss in all that firewood all at the same time and it'll be hot dog time and half now. Maybe. So there you go. We hot dogs on that magic stick there. Tool I found a bunch of years ago in the States. Just about ready, I'm gonna push all them coals down and we're good to go. Beer is open, ready to go. Ooh, buddy. There you go. Ready to do it. And here we go. Perfect. They've been promising sunshine. Not a damn thing. Oh well. Be at this for a while. There you go. We got mayonnaise and fire sauce and ketchup and that's about it. No mustard. Oh well. Went with ketchup and mayonnaise for the first one. See how it goes. So far so good. Uh, my battery's about to die. I don't know what happened to my phone today, but I was sending too many messages to somebody in the state, so I guess that did it. Long distance stuff. Uh, and see if I get any more filming done tonight. If not, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to save battery for breakfast in the mo breakfast from the hammock, but I doubt it. So we're on the second one, and I'm realizing while I'm sitting here trying to keep my posture good so I don't hurt my neck. I'm looking over there, and that's what I'm staring at. While well, I'm sitting here working this hot dog, and the they keep pushing clouds over here in front of the sun. But on this side, the sky's all blue. What the hell, man? Give the man a break sitting out here with his hot dog. 